Crypto Lightsaber with another video guys. So I wanted to do an update on Drip Network, which is having a bit of a pullback, uh, currently sitting at $127. People are asking in the comments, you know, is it too late to get into Drip? Now, my personal opinion, no, it's not too late to get into the Drip. Uh, into Drip. Um, one of the reasons being, um, if you look at what the developer says alone in his AMAs, uh, by the end of the year, he expects the price, if it continues at the growth that is growing at the moment, and it reaches uh, the TVL, for example, of that of the competitors, Drip's competitors, he expects to see uh, the Drip token price at between three to $5,000. Now, some might say, you know, that's not possible or whatever. I'm not here to speculate on what the price will be. Um, however, I do believe that the price will grow, and $127 at today's price is a steal. In fact, I have been buying a dip on Drip and topping up my second account, um, taking advantage of these dips. These dips are actually opportunities. Okay, guys. So, you know, if you believe that the price is going to continue to go up, you can compound. You can buy the drip. Uh, you, sorry, you can buy the dip. The, buy the drip. Buy the dip, and um, increase your bag so that when the price does increase. Uh, you benefit from that as well, okay, guys. As well as the one percent a day that you're getting from the faucet. So I bought the dip about one hundred and eighteen dollars. It went down a little bit further to approximately one hundred and fifteen dollars, um, and now it's back up to one hundred and twenty-seven dollars. Uh, the previous all-time high is one hundred and ninety dollars. I believe that drip is going to go past that, uh, which is why I am increasing my investment in drip. Another reason why the price of drip will be falling is uh because of the manor farm or the drip garden and uh you know people will be um you know um no not because of drip, the drip garden because of the animal farm sorry the animal farm uh will be going live um on oh that's another thing actually so the animal farm was meant to be going live on tuesday um uh, forest shark has changed uh, some of the tokenomics slightly let's just get into that so if we find uh, for it shark's recent announcement he said due to some changes we made to the animal farm such as the addition of a three percent tax on selling pigs and some additional security functions we would like to take an extra one to two days to run them by paladin which is the auditors and do our own in-house testing it's essentially the same exact tax mechanic we have on dogs which has now been fully audited and tested passing with flying colors so we know there will be no issues but we will always be conservative on these matters because it, it is always better to be careful than assume we also want to polish the site up and so on uh, sorry and, and do more promotion for the launch event which is good that's bullish uh, we are taking advantage of this extra two days by having a small busd raise on tuesday in the r34p dow and then launch on thursday uh, so it won't be launching on the first anymore it'll be launching on the third uh, so, you know, two days uh, delay. This BUSD raise will go 100% towards appreciating the price of dogs and pigs. Bullish. Uh, to join the R34P DAO, you must hold at least 300 R34P, which, uh, if I remember correctly, is closer to about $80,000, $90,000. So, you know, um, don't even try and get into this BUSD raise if you're not willing to, you know, spend, you know, about eighty dollars to $90,000. Um, in fact, what is the price of R34P? Let me just uh, confirm that before I start throwing numbers out there. So R34P, if you don't know what R34P is, this is the token. Uh, sorry, it's BR34. Is it R34P or BR34P? Uh, oh, right. Sorry, it's R34P, not BR34P. Sorry, so R34P is not the same price as BR34P. R34P is $175. Dollars, so you need 300 R34P to get into that BUSD raise. So we're talking 52, 53 thousand dollars. My bad. Um, I was thinking it was BR34P. BR34P is a slightly higher price. Um, the price isn't on here, but you you can find that on PooCoin. Okay, guys, and and Dex Tools or whatever chart you want to look at. Okay, guys. So, um, yeah, there's a BUSD raise. Um, so another chance for those that might have missed the the previous sale to get in on that. The money that's raised from that is going to be used to appreciate the price of dogs and pigs. So super bullish there. And um, yeah, there is a slight delay in the animal farm going live. It's going live on Thursday now instead of Tuesday. Right. So back to the price of drip. So another reason why the price of drip is falling. Uh, this will be one of the reasons. 
people want to get into the drip BUSD farm to earn more pigs. Okay, guys. And one way they can do that is through the drip liberation contract on the manor farm, which will be migrating over to the animal farm. And um, uh, that is this drip liberation contract right here. So when you get in over here, instead of pancake swap, you don't pay the 10% 10, the 10 tax that you would have paid on pancake swap. And, and you use BUSD and it basically pairs up your drip for you. Okay, guys. So people will sell drip to get their uh, BUSD liquidity pool tokens. And um, yeah, and you know, they'll be able to use that to farm the pigs token. Uh, you know, of course, there's going to be people out there that are taking rewards from this as well because they're anticipating the price of plants potentially falling with, you know, some of those sales, people taking their LP tokens out of this contract and so on. So there's a few reasons why the price of drip might be taking a dip. Um, however, this is opportunity. It's opportunity to pick up drip at a cheaper price and, um, yeah, benefit from the, uh, you know, the uh, price appreciation that's coming for drip once the animal farm goes live, which I believe will happen. Um, you know, the price of drip will increase just like we saw uh, that it did when the mana farm launched. Okay, guys, because the mana farm and the animal farm, these things are created to support the price of drip overall. So there's a whole ecosystem. We have the drip faucet. Um, we have, uh, sorry, the drip network. We have the mana farm. Uh, which will be migrating over to the animal farm we have the animal farm layer two and then later on there will be a layer three of the animal farm so guys i want you to take advantage of this it's not financial advice but i believe the price is going up i'm putting my money where my mouth is and i'm buying a dip at the end of the day getting one percent a day on that if you don't know how to get into this you do need a body to get your one percent a day okay guys now for some people that say that drip is a ponzi scheme at the end of the day, you need to understand what a Ponzi scheme is. 4 Shark does a better job of explaining why Drip is not a Ponzi scheme. However, what I will say is 90%, 99% of crypto is a Ponzi scheme. It needs more investors to come in in order for you to make a decent return on your investment and get money out. Okay, guys, there needs to be liquidity. There needs more people to come in and invest. Without people, there is no market in the first place. Without people investing into drip there is no drip and the other thing is is if you do believe that drip is a ponzi scheme you know you don't actually have to uh stake it in a faucet you can literally just buy the token uh in in the in the in the swap section you can buy the token hold the token and then you can sell the token and at least benefit from the price appreciation you don't have to stake it in a faucet and earn one percent a day it makes sense to stake it in a faucet and get 1% a day for 365 days and, and you know, get 365% on your investment. Uh, but you don't, li you literally don't have to do that. Okay, guys. So people are asking in the comments, where do the uh, rewards come from? It's all in the white paper. For drip, the rewards come from the 10% tax and stuff like that. And in the event that there was not enough to pay any rewards, Forex Shark has a system set up to cater for that also. Okay, guys, so go and read the white paper, listen to the AMAs, and you will get answers to your questions. I am by, by no means, uh, you know, you shouldn't be, um, certain questions uh, uh, should not be reserved for the comment, comment section. Uh, you can literally go in the Telegram group and ask the community that, and they'll be able to tell you not only that, people are asking questions that are actually in the white paper, like where do the rewards come from? Go and read the white paper. Okay, guys. So, yeah, super bullish on drip, um, super bullish for the future of drip, super bullish for the animal farm. And, um, yeah, can't wait to see uh, where we can go with it. Um, yes, a little two-day delay um, just gives you more time to accumulate more BUSD or more Ethereum or more whatever, whatever on dips. So you can go over to the farm and from day one have a bigger bag to start farming with, to start staking with. You can stake ETH to make more dogs, Kate to get more dogs, a BUSD to get more dogs. If you go to the farms, you can pair up your USDT, your stable coins, get some stable coins together to get more pigs, uh, sorry, more dogs, um, and so on. You you know, you make up your own strategy and, you know, kill it with, with this platform because, you know, we don't know what the APRs are going to be and stuff like that, but I'm, I know they're going to be good. If, I go, if, I, if you go by anything uh, like what we saw on the mana farm, crazy ap wise okay guys and um yeah 
links are in the description do me a favor and subscribe to the channel uh, tip the little bell for notifications guys and i'll see you in the next video